Episode 10 of The Oval was a game changer, and some of you may frown upon the fact that Nancy got knocked over the head with a gun by a trained Raku soldier. But if you ask me, she should have had her at home serving greens and taters, her favorite pastime. Now, the number of civilians are piling up on the Rakadushi camp, right? We've got the new blood couple, Aaron and Laura, who are unsure if they want to join the camp or not. We've got three FBI agents stark naked in trailer number four, and of course, we've got Ruth, Joan, River, who also want to leave, but not without that bag. Now, how does Nancy find herself on the Rakadusha compound? And will the end of season five be the end of Tyler Perry's Ruthless? In this video, I'll be getting into that question and everything else that's happening so far as it relates to the Oval and the Ruthless crossovers. Now, besides the fact that she's as nosy as they come, the other thing that we're learning about this character is that she's not the sharpest tool in the shed. We all know that Nancy feels a way because she's the sole reason that Ruth had the opportunity to kidnap little Callie and run off to the cult. And now with Barry missing, well, he's going to be missing for a long time. <laughs> As we're finding out, she feels helpless. Sam isn't getting back to her and Richard fast enough. She's called all of their friends and all of his friends, and she's not getting anywhere. So despite the fact that she knows exactly where these people are, she drove to the compound anyway, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. But the blonde aspect of it all is she went alone that part and when she got there what did she do she sat outside the gate and just watched come on Nancy you know exactly what you're getting yourself into it ain't like you pulling up to the church parking lot waiting on the pastor to come through and shake everybody's hands mm, Barry's experience should have more than taught you a lesson these people are the reason Barry almost died after they kidnapped him from the Walmart parking lot they are the ones who doped him up so bad that the doctor ordered him to rehab because he had enough drugs in his body to get the whole west side of Atlanta high. Ruth even came to the hospital and gave you yet another warning of how she wanted you and Richard to help her. Come on, Nancy. You gotta be smart about this. Why not take Sam with you, Nancy, or even Richard, or Dale, Miss Jody, anybody? <laughs> now you done got yourself captured by one of Daikon's men and on your way to see the highest. And this will be an interesting meeting, to say the least, right? Don't you think? Can y'all imagine Nancy spending the night inside the punishment trailer? I mean, she's not White House primed like, say, the second lady or anything, but her and Richard's humble abode ain't this, right? <laughs> But on a more serious note, guys, no one ever makes it off the compound alive. Barry is dead. Nancy's been captured. And other than her being loyal and faithful now to Richard and trying to convince Sharon to be Hunter's W-H-O-R-E, do you think we can get any more use out of this character other than a plate of ham hocks and cabbage? <laughs> Will next season, season five, be the end of Ruthless? I mean, we don't have Barry around anymore yelling every other episode, where's my daughter? <laughs> Nancy is there now, right? And will probably be there the remainder of season four and half of season five. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think that Nancy's going to make it out alive? Who's going to rescue her? Let's keep the conversation going. And if you like this video, like the video and share the video. You know I'd appreciate it. And if you're a fan of Tyler Perry's The Oval and Ruthless, go ahead and sub to the channel for more videos just like this one. Thank you so much for joining me on tonight's episode of Ruthless TV, you guys. And I'll see you on the next one.